You guys know how much I love the spooky season, Halloween, autumn, everything. So, what does that mean? It means this week I'm going to do a bonus round. And uh, I dug up a nice art style for you. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so our art style that we're going to talk about real quick today is Dance Macabre. And it is a theme that has been explored uh, through art for, uh, I, I believe it was from the 14th to the 16th century. And basically, it's the great equalizer. Um, it is a theme that has been um, explored in various art forms, so literature, art, painting, whatever. It, it originated in uh, the Middle Ages and reached its peak during the Renaissance. Um, and it was kind of sparked by uh, the Black Plague, Black Death, Black Plague, the Plague. And uh, Dance Macabre uh, represents the... Um, it's not a single art movement. It's it's just a, a theme. Um, but uh, so what it also entails is like um, how usually skeletons and stuff, uh, skeletons and skulls represent death. And um, it's, you know, people from, from peasants to kings to queens, um, they all uh, are equalized by this. So let's get into it. All right. Check this out. This is a woman. Oh, and dance is spelled D-A-N-S-E, uh, different than when we would spell it in um, the U.S. But here's a woman in the style of dance macabre. Check that out. I love this. Ghostly figure, uh, skeletal, flowy, painterly. You know, I love the painterly styles. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, but... Think about those Halloween prints that you want to hang up around, um, hang up around your your house and everything. And uh, here is another woman. I did a couple of um, versions of the woman because it came out so good. Um, you know, this is uh, it, it's an overall um, powerful, enduring theme that uh, explores existential and philosophical uh, questions about mortality. Um, so here is a woman. I mean look at that that is just you know it's not quite what makes it a really creepy is not quite skeletal there's still some flesh on those bones but obviously a skull and just very uh spectral uh also because it, it's very light and 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 see-through uh transparent um another one and this one very gaunt woman and we have our our skulls and skeletons uh, in the background and, you know, she's, she's, uh, seems to be right in that transitional period. And, um, you know, mid journey is representing this phenomenally. Another one. I love this one because it gives us the, uh, you know, this, the second theme of, of sunset. And, you know, a lot of times people going into the sunset, it's, it's, um, you know, it's symbolic of death, uh, going into the night, going in, um, the sunset is is that transitional period of of people um you know completing their their life's journey here's a man hey he's uh he doesn't seem so upset but he's skeletal and uh, i love this up in the corners uh, mid journey is giving us this lace overlay uh you know something like that uh would have been created uh in the dark room when developing this uh you know you can overlay the lace while you're exposing your paper although i this is well whatever anyway if you were doing this in dark room that's how you could get uh, a cool uh burnt in um effect like that a cheeseburger look at that um i mean come on that's we have not seen anything like that that is creepy uh, that that goes up there with 1970s uh mcdonald gang for creepiness and cheeseburgers that is awesome and i think that cheeseburger is cannibalistic just saying all right this one's pretty cool this is very graphical um very uh you know you get the sense of of uh it's, it's they're all feminine characters and and then uh even the devil and everything has a very feminine feel to it um maybe gives you the feel of of witchcraft and and, you know, you kind of have this full moon rising behind them, and there's dancing in the woods. It's 
it's just very symbolic of, of what we would, or stereotypical of what we would think of with witchcraft. Um, interesting though, no pointy hats, but um, definitely dancing in the woods under the moonlight. Here's another one. Very cool. Now, I wouldn't say this is witchcraft, but this is this is dark and foreboding. It's it's um, giving us that nighttime palette. Uh, the interesting that the moon and its halo looks like an eye. Uh, it's uh, phenomenal silhouetting, and I love the texturing of the water. Very interesting. I have not seen an octopus like this. This is awesome. It's it's an octopus, but if you look at it closely, it also looks... So we have the head of the octopus, but interesting thing is like the pulling and this fabric give me the feel of... Um, and and how these these tentacles end. They give me the feel of a straight jacket. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. I, I feel I really have the sense of a straight jacket and, and somebody... Uh, you know, our, our vision of, of the, the institutionalized, um, from, from, I don't know if they still use straight jackets. I don't know if they're considered, uh, ethical or, or what I, I really have no idea, but I definitely am getting the vibe of a straight jacket, uh, with the way his skin is transitioning from, from clothing to, to tentacle. And that is just that is wild. That is so cool. Uh, it's so original. I, I phenomenal stuff. Here's another octopus. Uh, very ornate, detailed, intricate, uh, ornamental. All those, um, but pretty plain. I mean, as far as what we've seen, uh, I thought I'd share it though because it's it's nice looking. Shouldn't keep that to myself. <laughs> Here's another one. You know, I'm starting to get a lot of octopi. Um, in suits. I don't know what is going on, but this is like a new thing. Um, with I, I'm just getting a lot of octopus ever since that lawyer. It it seems like now I'm gonna get octopuses wearing business suits and a motorcycle. That's pretty cool. You know, the skull is the uh, you know, it's it kind of got that sting steampunk feel to it with all the uh, copper and and um and then you got the skull that's the gas tank. Uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, this obviously photorealistic and a tree. Now look at that. There is a lot of narrative in there. Back here, we have this tree shape that's very Christ-like, very crucifixion style, you know, the contemplative skeleton, you know, almost waiting. There are other, uh, humanoid type shapes within the tree and it's, it's a dying tree. It's covered with moss. It's weighted. It's, it's, it's weighted, burdened, uh, with this moss almost, uh, and the color palette is just phenomenal. I mean, just really subtle, but precise and, and I love it. And, you know, eh, there's, there's a, just seems everyone is solemn in it. Uh, it, very cool. Love the lighting of it too. And another tree. And, you know, this is, Jeez, you know, you see pictures of wildfires and stuff, and and this is kind of the imagery you you get back, and um, just this apocalyptic world on fire type thing, and that's that's the um, the palette we're getting here, and uh, I like these two characters back here. It it almost almost animal like, definitely. Well, I don't know if they're bipedal, but we do see two legs on all of them. And then down here, there these shapes are suggestive. They're not absolute. It's not, you know, this isn't a skull, but I do kind of see eye sockets and a mouth in it. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, and and over here, it just it looks cloth like. So there's there's subtle um, symbolism in there. I, I who knows? Maybe Mid Journey just didn't finish working on it. And house. this is where we're going to end it. This is beautiful. This is what you shoot for when when you're trying to get like a a watercolor ink wash and creepy old haunted house image. I will be using this image for for uh, maybe that is my image for my well uh, Halloween party uh, 
I'm losing my mind. Got the words. Invitation. The invitation I'll send out for my Halloween party. All right. So that's Dance Macabre. Try it out. Put it in a prompt. You guys are going to love it. I love it. And, uh, you know, you guys are going to see how dark I am this season because we got a lot of stuff to go over and we're going to keep with this Halloween theme probably all the way to Thanksgiving. I love this time of year. All right. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this extra video this week. Um, I hope you got a lot out of it. Like the video. That would be awesome. Check us out on Discord. Really cool stuff going on over there. I can't stress it enough. Um, comment below. Let's talk. Uh, I, I'd love to see your your images that you make with this um, dance macabre. And uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be great. All right. Till next time.